Hi and welcome Taurus, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your Singles and You Love reading for August 2021. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel and those that regularly follow me. Before we get started, there is a competition running this month, so there's some beautiful Oracle decks up for grabs. All you need to do is be a new subscriber to my channel or opt in to the extended versions of my readings this month. You'll go into the draw to win the beautiful, precious gems oracle. I've got to say, it's just the most gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Mm -hmm. And those who follow me regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You'll go into the draw to win the Nature's Whispers oracle. Winners will be announced at the end of the month. So listen up. July winners have been just announced. So uh, Matt Levi won for new subscribers and Karen Edwards won for existing members. So if that is you, get in touch. My email is down below to claim your prize. And uh, to get hold of the extended versions of my reading, super simple. All you need to do is hit the join button on my channel, very first link below. $5.99 a month, you get three uh, readings for that. You get the extended monthly, mid-monthly, as well as bonus. Love reading every month for all VIP members. And uh, they're deeply transformational, motivational, inspirational. So if you want to invest in yourself, go and check those out. Personal readings are open. If you feel like you need extra guidance and support, link will pop up here as well as booking info down below. Follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So come and say hi. All right, let's get started, Taurus. So how this works, singles on this side, going to pull some energies and new love over this side. So first up, let's pull you an opening energy from the Lovers Oracle. And hello to those of you that might be cross-watching. Oh, this is kind of beautiful. It's a big red heart sitting in the center. It's, it's all about transformation. It says your relationship with another is about to deepen. Yeah, love conquers and transforms all things. So it can certainly relate to new love. It could also relate some of you to connections that you've been going through that possibly had some challenges in them, didn't work out the first time around. We'll see what else comes out. All right, let's put some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle. Firstly, singles. Oh, you've got this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So that'll get you thinking. Someone's already crossed your path. All right, let's have a look at new love here. You got playfulness, yeah? So spirit saying just to have some fun together. Don't get too serious. Oh my God, fixed expectations. Go with the flow. All right, singles. All right, you got two here. Oh, here we go. You've got a reconciliation coming back to you. Yeah, someone from your past is returning to your life. And you've also got the message that you deserve love and know that you're lovable. So knowing you're worthy of a great love, yeah? All right, let's have a look at new love here. You've got two. All right, you've got codependency playing out in your love life. So it could certainly be with self. It could be with the other person. Codependency is karmic imprints, can be emotional, it can be things like drug, alcohol, sexual addictions, gambling, uh, those kind of things. Oh, Spirit's saying to spend some time together in retreat, yeah? One on one couple time. All right, let's have a look at singles where you got someone coming back to you. Oh, you got unrequited love, not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this going. So. <laughs> Oh, that could be you. That could be you, them. Someone trying to come back to you and you're like not having a bar of it or you'd like them back and they're going like mm. super interesting. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's have a look at new love here. Oh, you got the message to give your relationship a chance to work on the partnership. So even Spirit's saying if there's issues going on, uh, it's worth um, working on overcoming those some guidance in terms of angel answers oracle first up singles where you got someone trying to come back to you oh you got the message there's no need to worry so just relax oh some of you are in recovery right now which can be health recovery and you got the message to communicate clearly so if you've got someone coming back to you and you don't really want them just be very honest about that yeah Let's have a look at new love here. Yeah, there needs to be compromise and balance in this connection. 
Oh, and for some of you, Spirit's saying there's something better. So perhaps there isn't enough compromise and balance, which is why there's codependency. And Spirit's saying meditation will bring you the answers in terms of getting clarity about whether or not that connection's healthy for you. All right, let's dive a bit deeper. Firstly, singles. Oh, wistfully yearning for more but don't know where to start. So not really sure how you're going to connect with your soulmate, the one you're looking for. And, wow, you've pulled a transformation again, going through a massive transformation right now. Personal growth. And, oh, here we go, health recovery. Spirit saying wait for perfect timing. So congruent coming out, those messages. All right, let's have a look at new love here where Spirit's saying there might be something better there for you. <laughs> oh, I feel so good when I'm with you. So there is a beautiful connection. And it's new, but I have this special feeling about you. I've got to say there's some challenges to overcome, my loves. Oh, here we go, darlings. Twin flame past life connection. So what does that mean? Well, if one or both of you haven't cleaned your stuff up, you're going to get a massive life lesson out of this connection. Um, if you want it to work, you've got to work on yourselves individually as well as the connection and make sure that there's compromise and balance in it. All right, let's put some guidance in terms of the heart of the matter. Firstly, singles. Anything singles need to know here. Oh, you change who you are to be loved. Oh, that's codependent, darling. So what does that mean? It means you need to build up your sense of self-love, self-worth, mm -hmm, which is why there's you deserve love and know that you're lovable. So it often means that when you were growing up, you didn't get your emotional needs met consistently or your care needs met consistently as a baby right through um, because it can be a fear of abandonment. So you do whatever you can to hold on to a relationship where you change who you are to be loved because within yourself you don't hold that sense of self-love strong enough. So when you do bring that sense of self-love to a beautiful place of wholeness and balance, you won't change who you are to be in a relationship, yeah? All right, those of you new love connection over here. Oh, I got way too excited and didn't take the time to find out your intentions. Mm -hmm. So are you on the same page? You're looking for the same things. And Spirit's saying you just need to trust yourself more, specifically your intuition. I'm going to put you one more here. Oh, here we go. I jump into intimacy too soon and devastated when I'm ghosted. Oh, therein lies a lesson, darlings. Mm -hmm. So you've got conflicting like messages there. Um, there's certainly, for some of you, a beautiful connection. You need to get on the same page. You need to overcome some challenges in that connection. For others, you need to be mindful that you're on the same page with what somebody else wants, yeah? In fact, you know, so you're both looking for the same thing. All right, let's put you some guidance in terms of relationship influences. Firstly, singles. Well, Spirit's saying to join a group. So those of you that don't know where to meet somebody, Spirit's saying join a group. And you've got forgiveness here. So either forgiveness of self, forgiveness of the past needs to happen. And Spirit's saying be mindful of red flags. Don't ignore red flags in a relationship. All right, let's have a look at new love over here. Um, Spirit saying you need to bring yourself into a place of inner peace and balance. And you need to be more open emotionally, open to new people. And to heal the feminine. So what does that mean? Well, that can be being more emotionally vulnerable. Um, it's your sense of fun, adventure, lighter side. Um, if we're talking to the masculine energy, then it means not if you've had disappointing love relationships, not painting everyone the same, improving your relationship to feminine energy all right let's have a look at love attributes which is your partner's love language or yours what's important to you in your love connection or them singles this is all about you well you're a little complicated to get to know mm -hmm. and you're a bit of a warrior so this is why you got to find some balance in a peace 
and you're also a bit of an explorer so that's kind of fun you might want to join a group that does exploring things adventurous things all right let's have a look at new love connection over here uh you're a protector or they are of the relationship of you uh you love generosity in a connection mm -hmm. they may be very generous and you also need time for solitude or they do yeah all right let's put some soulmate messages so take from this reading what resonates with you. Firstly, singles. Oh, it says, have you lost sight of what's really important? Remember a time when life was simpler and the world seemed like a giant playground just waiting to be explored. Perhaps it's time to rediscover that world together. Kind of means going back to your inner child. Yeah, doing things that light your inner child up, whether you're with someone or on your own. All right, let's have a look at this new love connection here. Oh, it says, close your eyes and feel your spiritual connection to everything on this planet, every person, animal, tree, and flower. Feel the ocean, the wind, the sky, all in perfect harmony, moved by one eternal flow of love. Wow, both of you have got the same message, whether you're a single or in a new connection, is to feel the power of all that is, you yeah? The world, nature, delight. Mm-hmm versus focusing so much on love all right let's put some guidance from the whispers of love oracle what is it taurus needs to know at this time okay you've got the message to have patience yeah it's saying love is patient and kind always so don't try and rush things force things try and go more with the flow of timing of things yeah all right my loves those are your messages love to hear your feedback your comments down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this very much helps my channel you'll also notice a new thanks button so if you really enjoyed it uh, you can uh, contribute back to my channel certainly helps you don't have to but if you wish to most appreciative and don't forget reach out if you need extra guidance with a personal reading and take it easy my loves for now much love much light namaste